so very good. Good evening, man. I'm nice, man. Right. Um, so capital A. Yeah, boy, yes. What's up? Man, let's talk. Let's talk music. Mm-hmm. Let's talk music. When did you realize that you actually want to do like, music and stuff? Um, I think it was back in when I was 16. And yeah, that's when, like, I started listening to music. Like, most of my time, I would listen to music like, throughout the day. But what kind of music were you listening to at the time? I was listening to what my father used to play. I go Bob Marley, oh, yeah. reggae. I would play, we would play Stimela. Um, besides hip hop, hip hop was the last uh, genre that I listened to. Yeah. But then Eminem like captured me like yo. I was like, yeah, this is what I want to do. Eight Yeah, so that's when I started like listening to hip hop. It was through Eminem, Dr. Dre, and then I eventually wanted to produce like Dr. Dre. I was like making beats and stuff. So. So you produce as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know that you actually produce. Yeah, I make beats, man. It's been like close to nine years. Nine it's, years making beats? Yeah, making beats. It started when I was 16. I've never heard any you know, song that's like produced by... I I've produced always. for myself, like the first EP that I've done was produced by me. Like, um, I think it was, how many twins? Five or six out of the eight. Oh yeah? There's six, yeah, and then two were done by my brother. Brother. So your brother's also producing. Yeah, it. yeah. So I mean, let's let's jump into your your first single. I want a mission statement. Because mm. I remember when I listened to that John, it's like, what, like, what is this? Like, mm. who's this guy? Um, can you tell me as to we Kali Ganja and he? Oh yeah. Uh, well, mission statement was actually my second single. Oh yeah. The first one was on top of the world. Uh, I didn't shoot a video for that though. And then our uh, mission statement, I decided to shoot a video for it. Um, but so wait, sorry to cut you. Oh, yeah. That video, mm. God, grief. That video is. is so I'm sure now when when, yeah. when when that video was shot or when you saw that video, you're like what? The final product. You like whoa? I've actually because sure. me and I seriously, I took I took you seriously the moment I saw that video because mm. what that video did not only to you, but it inspired a lot of rappers and especially around Cape Town. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was like industry standard, <clears throat> and at the same time, it was like, yo, I'm, I'm literally like watching it documentary, but at the same time, mm. it was like a film um, kind of situation. Like, who pre- like who, who did the video? Uh, shout out to Mpendulo Mabindisa. That's the guy who shot the, the video, uh-huh. the director. Uh, the production crew is called the New Home Productions. Yeah. Yeah, but um, shout out to Mpendulo. He's the guy who, was, who came up with the concept uh, to have little kids it's basically to show that um in life you can become whatever you want to be yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so i got inspired when i saw so yeah. we 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 listen like kanye west said uh listen to the kids so that's what we did there and was those kids it is like the video was kids around the area or was um it? some were actually um pendulous relatives like cousins younger cousins so like an actor and like teaching him stuff so yeah man it was shot in one day uh it was shot here in google i forgot the the place but it's opposite to 119 let's talk about let's talk about where now where you're originally from i in a corner I'm just gonna shift and say, me, mm. I saw you as this guy from Hickox. Sure, sure. But apparently, you're not from Hickox. No, I'm not from Hickox. I'm, I'm from a Oliver Town. It's opposite Goods. Uh, it's on the other side of the railways. <laughs> so every yeah. day when you pass in the <laughs> Sure. And uh, it's actually between uh, Kugletu and Manningburg. So it's just... Yay. Just, yeah, yeah. Well, Manningburg, okay? Sure. So Oliver Town, yeah, that's where I'm from. But originally I'm from Kualang. Um, after eight years of uh, living in Kualang, then I moved to Oliver Town. Um, how long have you been staying there now? Uh, here in Oliver Town yeah. is like uh, how many years? I think roughly 15, yeah, no, you're, 16, you're, I'm not sure. Yeah, no, you're from there. It's more than 15 years. And uh, then, yeah. okay, cool. Let's get into 
Cooks. Okay. We started working with guys from Echoes, for example. I mean, yeah. I know, I know the guys. I don't know them personally, sure, but I've sure. seen them. You know, it kicks out yeah, the industry, yeah. and especially hip hop is really small. It's a really okay. small community. Um, your likes of Ope, for example. Sure. Um, I don't know them. Is Cooks gang or like? No, no, no. If I'm wrong. Uh, we we call KYD on the ground. That's LB, capital A, U and A, uh, Hype Team, uh, Rody Holmes, and Gadi, Bear, and Hey. So yeah. those are the guys, yeah. But I mean, the last time I heard a joint from you guys, right? Yeah, man, it's like everyone is like. Everyone is doing their own thing now. For now, yeah, we like. Uh, the last project we were busy with, it was uh, It's All Cooks, and it was a uh, hip hop and poetry sessions that we used to host around the Echo Lit. Uh, so that was the last project we were busy with, but now everyone is like pushing their own EPs, mixtapes. Uh, but yeah, something is coming from the team. But yeah. You know, you've touched on something that, that now I've been thinking about, and especially with what you know what's really happening in Cape Town. You know? yeah. Yeah, but, um, there's just a lot of politics involved, yeah. or a lot of conflict things that are like, it's just mm. the reality. Mm. Mm. I, want, I want us to. To speak and be more open about it, you know. Sure. Um, coming to if cooks, for example, in Amalta, Kuala, for example, mm. Bulls, mm. and then in your Montana's, your your the legs mm. Do you consider these guys as a competition, or do you consider them as people that are way superior than your brand? Mm. Like, why can't you guys like work or collaborate? Mm or invite each other into sessions where you're gonna build individuals like individual sure. friends such as but in a more collective way mm. like what's really an issue uh with me there's no issue with all of the guys that you mentioned actually i actually have a feature with every single guy that you mentioned that's coming but i don't want to go deep into that because it's it hasn't like manifested if i may say yeah. Uh, but yeah, we we, we, we we are planning on working together. Uh, but yeah, for now, nothing has wanna come about like. But wait, now what do you student. think? What do you think is what's like what's happened? Yeah. Now the thing is, the thing is, uh, for quite some time, uh, Google Two was running the game when it yeah when it came to hip hop. Uh, but like you know the likes of T O P. Uh, archetypes, a lot of guys, three months cup, yeah. like Google it too, was the guys running the show. And then uh, the guys from Gualanga, they came about, they did their thing. So it was so, a whole new school. Like the new school, the new uh -huh. sound. And um, in a way, it's. Um, so before, but like, 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 we, like, it was. It, it, before it was like boom bap. It was uh, Espaza. Espaza, yeah. Let's yeah. talk about Espaza. Espaza, sure. Do you, do you listen to Espaza? I do listen to Espaza. The, the the tape that I have on my phone, actually, is by Umhe. He's part of the crew, KYD and the Crown. And yeah. He's a Espaza cat. A Espaza yeah. cat. And I, we dropped his tape last year, and I still bump it today. So, I like, dominantly, he raps in the person. Is it? One time.